Hey guys, welcome back. Orbom here, bringing you another episode of our PTCGO live content. Now today, people, today, uh, what am I playing today? I don't know. I just came off playing Baby Blaze Gun. I'm like literally recording right afterwards. Uh, there's a bunch of decks I have built here. Uh, I don't really know what I want to play. This is Pissimian, by the way. I don't really want to play Pissimian yet. I haven't tested it too much. We're nowhere run out of tire. There's a lot of decks I want to test first, uh, like on stream. You know, I'm pretty confident in this deck that I've been that I just kind of built earlier. Let's, let's try it. We're going to play Bayonet Buzzwell. I do love me some Bayonet. And um, we're not playing Zoark. I'm trying to build these decks without Zoark to see if we can benefit from not having easy Pokemon. The Pokemon that are easy to knock out with cards like this. And since we are weak to Dark over Psychic, uh, we can deal with Buzzgarb a little bit easier. Which is kind of like a Tier 1 deck. And then we can spread damage around a little bit and use Vicar Ray and just overall. I'm just trying to take advantage. And we have this, of course. I'm just trying to take advantage of what we can. So um, I built this deck, just kind of threw it together. We'll see if we'll see if I like it. Uh, we got one Tapu Lele. Uh, we have it for Psy Wave. Magical Swap, not really as useful, but just for Rayquaza. It's nice to have that Psy Wave. Three baby buzzwalls to deal with uh, the card. To deal with um what's it called? It's a deal with Zorax. Such hammer with choice band. Oh, I'm not playing a beast energy in here. I should be playing a beast energy. Uh, we'll try to throw one in here in a second. With Choice Ban and Diancie is 80 damage, which is 160, um, which is not bad at all. So it can get some it can get some damage from the board, and then we can spread damage onto it later, or like just move damage counters and things like that. So that's kind of the goal. I'm gonna try to fit in a a boy. What can I cut? I guess I'm gonna cut a copycat because I'm not. I am still playing Lele in this deck because we have treasure. So I'm gonna cut a copycat and we'll play a Beast. That seems like a decent idea. Because Beast means that we can almost always take a no at least a knockout on a Baby Swole. Because Diancy, Beast, Choice Band uh, means we take a knockout even without the boosted damage from Such Hammer. So that's pretty cool. One Diancy, of course. We have a 4 3 line of Shuppet Bayonet. I'm trying it out because uh, if I need to get a fourth Bayonet, Bayonet, I will. I only have three right now, but I feel like three is enough. Shady Move is good. You can move damage counters around the board from your side of the board or their side of the board to another Pokemon, uh, which is really, really good. Just in general, because uh, you can fix math. Shadow Chant does 30 damage, plus 20 more for each supporter in your discard pile. Maybe I should put that copycat back. But we have uh, 3, 7, 11, 13, 15, 18, 19 supporters. I feel like that's more than enough to put 10 in the discard pile at some point. So we are rocking with that. Uh, just 10 more damage for each one, but we uh, can only add a max of 100 damage that way. With a choice band and one damage and one damage counter move, we can hit 170 on top of this. So we can easily knock those out. Uh, with Kakui, we hit 190, and we can obviously manipulate our damage enough to put things in range of Bayonet, which is why I really like Bayonet. Bayonet's like a heavy thought card. Thinking is important. Thinking is good. If you can win with thoughts and skills, that's pretty good. Of course, I'm fresh out of video, so my brain is fried. So we'll see if we can not mess up today. And we got Tomb Hunter, uh, Tomb Hunt GX, which is really good. Just puts three cards from your disco file into your hand. It's amazing for getting back. Usually, whenever I play Bayonet, it's like three Guzmas because Guzmas are the game winning card. Uh, I can put back things like Rainbow Energies or like things like that in some cases as well. It's usually there to get like Ace Rolls or Guzmas or things that either deny your opponent game or to win the game yourself. Even if they like judge you or something. And we got our two Lele. It's been a while since I played Lele in a video, I'm not gonna lie. I've been trying to avoid playing Lele's. We're not playing Shrine in this deck and uh, we can move damage counters off of our Lele if our opponent is playing Shrine themselves. So I'm hoping that the, the combination of Bayonet and the fact that we're not using Shrine comes in handy for this video that Lele is not going to be too much of a liability. We have four Mysterious Treasures for the discard, uh, two Nest Balls, get down some Diancies and all the Bayonets and Lele's and stuff, one Stretcher, uh, one Switch, because Switch is just kind of cool in this deck. I like to be able to switch between Bayonets and move multiple energy. Uh, it's always really nice. Um, we got four Ultra Balls for more discard. We have our three Acerola, four Cynthia, or Guzma, two Judge, two Lily, and three Kukui. Kukui is one of the most, and one Tain Liza. Kukui is being one of the most important card in these Bayonet decks. So we'll see how that works. I'm not playing a Ranguru right now, just because we have so many supporters in my hand, I can never see myself not having less than three cards in my hand. Uh, at least not consistently enough to play a Ranguru. So I'm not playing a Ranguru right now, but I can see myself squeezing, my, my, squeezing it in if I need to. Four Choice Bands it helps a lot of math in this deck. So having Choice Bands is just, just good in general. Uh, and then we have our split of energies, one Beast Energy, four Rainbow Energies, two Fighting Energies, and four DCEs. Uh, this is all an experimental deck. So hopefully it goes well, but let's go ahead and find ourselves a couple of game. Cause like in theory, right? You have the you have the baby souls that can deal with the Zoraks um, in the Zorak matchup. 
and then you have bayonets that can just throttle these these zoro garb uh not zoro garb these uh buzz garb decklist outside of like the weavile weavile is a problem but then you have the buzzwell again that can deal with the weaviles so like you have the cards you need to beat the right cards and then you're hitting psychic type weakness so you can deal with like malamar decks a lot easier so so that's kind of what I'm going for, right? As I'm playing the right types in this current meta. And of course, I'm teching in the Lele. I always play two in because we have the rainbow energies. Oh, crap. No, I'm not doing this. We just we just finished playing. We just finished playing this in a video. Nah, I'm done. I, as much as I really want to try the deck with the Cocos as I haven't played it yet. We ain't doing that. No, not today. Not today. <laughs> not today. Let's find another game, guys. <laughs> I've, I've had enough. I've had enough. I played too much. Too many decks. I've played too much of that deck already, more than any man should play. Played it on stream, played it in that video. I've, I've done enough. I've done enough. I've put in my time. Your boy Al, what's up, Al? How you doing, big dog? <laughs> I know what he's playing. I saw fire, uh, so I don't, I don't know what that means. But we won the coin flip, so I'll take that. It's fighting and psychic. Oh, he's playing Macario. That's what it is. he's playing in the Bayonet deck. All right, cool. So we should beat this deck if we can put enough. If we can put enough supporters in the discard pile early, then we can beat this deck, right? So that's kind of what we're going for. Because Bayonet is just so good against this deck, man. Did you guys know in the next set we're getting an 80 HP Slugma? By the way, that's kind of dope. This opening hand is kind of exactly what I was hoping for. We can toss a Judge and an Acerola. We can play our Lily. That's three That's three in the discard pile already. That should be, I think one more after that would be enough for us to really just handle the deck. So, And we have Acerola, which is just good in general. And we have a Psychic Energy. Yeah, things are looking kind of nice. As long as he doesn't get like Beast Energy off his opening hand, we should be okay. We toss these boys, get ourselves another Bayonet. So I feel like Bayonet is just what we need this game. So we're going to focus on the Bayonet aspect of this deck. And we'll Lily for six. It's pretty good. We got Bayonet. Uh, I'm going to get a Noun and Nest Ball, I think. Just get another Bayonet down. That feels decent. I'll get down Nest Ball. And just, look, yeah, last Bayonet down. The Bayonet is what we're rocking with this game. So we'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll hold it here. I don't want to get judged or Malamard or whatever this deck does well, not Malmar, uh Marshadowed. But I'm hoping this should be enough to rock us throughout the game. There's only two items down there, and we can just attack with this the rest of the game. And we can move damage counters off of ourselves, put them onto different Pokemon. I believe that is we can play Kakui next turn to guarantee knockout, but right now we are hitting 30 plus 6, which is 60, which is 120. So we actually need one more supporter down there. So we just one more supporter and then we do take knockouts on everything with weakness. Uh specifically this. If he's playing Weavile, that's a bit annoying, but if he is playing Weavile, I'll start benching the uh, Buzzles. So that way he, he takes knockout on Bayonet, I come in and smack up his his uh, his Weavile. There's Shrine. Like I said, Shrine isn't a big deal because we do move the damage counters off of ourselves. We have Acerola. We have three Acerolas in this deck for the Shrines as well. So we should be able to rock out um, pretty easily. As far as like dealing with this deck, I, as you guys have noticed, I kind of like the whole aspect of my channel, right? Except for like random like decks that viewers want me to play. Oh, he is playing this. He's okay. We have to put down our buzzle now. That's three items down there. It's not too bad still. Uh, the whole aspect of my deck of my of my videos is that I try my best to build decks that are unconventional. They're not played very often, but they're fun, right? They're entertaining, but they all can beat meta decks. That's always what I try to do. I don't just put car. I know there's a, there's a couple YouTubers out there. I'm not gonna sh shout out names because that's rude, but there's a couple YouTubers out there that just like, they just play things because you know, they can. They're just like, hey, this this works, this works here, this works here, this works here. I always try to make sure that my decks can win, all right? No matter how silly a deck is, if it can't win, I'm probably not going to upload it. But we just Shadow Chain here. You know, we only have one ability down, so Weavile doesn't even do anything. <laughs> it's for like 100, uh, so that's pretty cool. If we can play, how many more supports do we need to hit for, to hit a, to hit 90, I think is what we need to hit. We need to play, I think it has resistance. Yeah, this one has resistance, so the other one has resistance, which means we have to hit 110. Uh, 110 means we have to have eight in the discard pile, which is not happening. <laughs> One, two, three. As we need like Cynthia and we, we top deck ultra, we top deck ultra ball and we Cynthia, we get another ultra ball and another couple supporters. I don't see that happening here. Uh, we have Guzma of our, of our own. So we're gonna go ahead and just Guzma up one of these boys, take as many knockouts as we can. And we're gonna move our damage. Counter. I forgot to move damage counters last turn, didn't I? That's a big old yikes on my part. Uh, well actually, hmm. 
If we move this damage counter on this Sneasel, can we take a knockdown on it right now? We have to hit it for 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's 80, uh, which is 60, which I think is enough, right? I think it's enough. I'm going to assume that it's enough. No, I need, I need to make sure that's enough. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that means we're hitting for 90 damage, right? Which is enough, just in general, right? I think it's enough just in general. I think I forgot to move damage counters the first time, guys. If I did, I apologize. Um, that should be enough. So we're going to go ahead and move a damage counter onto... I'm just going to stack it up on a Ranguru. Because everything else I hit for weakness, right? So we're just going to do that for a little bit. And yeah, we'll just Shadow Chain here for Knockout. This should be Knockout. Oh, it's not Knockout. Okay, hold on. I'm miscalculating something. I thought there was five down here. One, two, three, four, five. Which means I'm hitting for 80. Oh, I am 10 short. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> It's okay. I should I shouldn't have done that. I should have tried to knock this thing out because if it gets Weavile, that could be annoying. But I don't think it changes too much. I think we'll be alright. Okay, I didn't miscalculate it. It's just one of those things. Like I said, my brain is fried. <laughs> my brain is absolutely fried from recording all these videos from earlier, as well as just coming back from. I went to school, went to the gym, came back. Um, just get these videos. I got a bulk. I'm bulking up, man. I'm bulking up. Not, I mean, I'm literally bulking up. By going to the gym and i'm bulking up on videos that's what i was mainly talking about because i'm trying to make sure i get enough videos for the guys to get consistent content i'm trying to make myself a legitimate recording schedule so that i can make sure that you guys get as much content as that you guys can get that's the goal so i'm trying to make sure you guys are set for content so that i can have a consistent schedule which is good for me because if i get a consistent schedule then you guys get great content and i'm happy and i just keep repeating myself for no reason uh <laughs> I can move one damage counter on him, forcing him to li literally let me knock something else out. Which is kind of crazy, which is really funny, actually. That's really funny. Um, right? Because a Rangru, I can hit it for... I mean, this thing only hit for 80 right now. If I get an Ultra Ball, or get another... If I get another Shuppet, or what's it called? Is that a Beast? It's a big boy Beast? Does he have Escape Rope or something? I mean, I'm assuming this thing's going to come in and knock me out the following turn, which is fine. Because I just come in and... Knock him out the following turn. So we'll be all right. Uh, Tate. Uh, how much do I fear Garbodor? Not too much. Just want to thin so that this works out for me pretty nicely. Uh, Rainbow energies are kind of meant for these boys. So we'll attach here. And I, just in case I get a thing. Like in case I get another Bayonet or something. Or another or an Ultra Ball. There's another Bayonet. That's pretty good. Uh, cause I'm assuming he's gonna make he's gonna make this active because he's the only thing that denies a knockout. No, he's just gonna Okay, this is fine then. If he's gonna let me make, take a knockout here. I'm not, because I have four mystery treasures in the deck and I haven't found a single one, I think I'm not gonna play down my GX if I can avoid it. I'm just gonna Cynthia here. I could always like goose Acerola. How much do I care? I'm going to have three damage counters on me, which will become four. This hits me for 120, 150, which is a knockout. So I can make myself one short by Ace rolling here. Yeah, I'm going to make myself one short because that sounds hilarious to me. <laughs> that sounds way funnier. <laughs> that actually sounds way funnier to me. If I can make myself one short from being knocked out and then I can move, then I can just try to ace roll again later. But I can deny a knockout where it matters. Uh, and I can, no, I can just shady move again and put another one on here so that everything is in range. Oh, wait, wait, no, I thought I clicked myself. That's annoying. Um, uh, can I cancel? <laughs> I meant to click myself and put it onto here. Uh, I hate this game, man. This game's rough. Um, can I? This sucks. This is so annoying. Uh, whatever. I hit 120, right? With this. Yeah. We'll put it on here just in case I choose a sledgehammer next turn. I can always get Diancy, but whatever. How irritating. <laughs> How incredibly irritating. We'll shadow, whatever. A misclicks happen. I wanted to move it off myself because that would have put me at least two two off instead of just one off, but it's fine. Um, you know, he comes in and he whiffs a knockout. If he gets choice, man, he takes a knockout anyways, I think. Uh, so it doesn't change anything. Yeah, but like Bayonet coming in and being strong. So, hey, all right. So we got to show off 
this deck versus one of the best decks in the format already. So that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, that's why that's why I wanted to play Bayonet. Bayonet just seems so good right now. Um, sorry for the cut, guys. Well, we are back with another game. Fam came home, so I had to deal with them. But it's okay. Dude, my back is in so much pain. Oh, man. Gem is killing me, bro. All right, can we go first? No, unfortunately. All right, let's see what we can do. We did, we did beat a really good deck right now, so... Uh, let's, let's see if we can keep that up. Unfortunately, we are leading with Buzzle, but fortunately we have Switch in the deck, but unfortunately we don't have a Shuppet or a thing that we can switch into. So, a bunch of fortunate unfortunates. So, here we go. Let's see if we can get a good game. Looks like we're playing against Buzzgarb again. It's annoying that this is all you see. It's all you see is Buzzgarb, bro. And I don't want to see Buzzgarb. <laughs> I want to play against other decks so that we can get constant good videos. I don't want to play just against the auto win. Even though it's like not always an auto win, obviously. Uh, let's see. Can we get ourselves a treasure? Treasure would be actually amazing for us. Treasure, drop a Guzma. Uh, actually, I wouldn't want to switch though. I'm thinking about switching. I don't think I'd want to switch. Maybe I just like, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I need to get, I believe... Four tools, that's 70, right? Four tools is 70, so I need four tools and or four um, supporters in the discard pile. And then, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, I'm thinking I want to play my own Marsh Shadow. <laughs> Not gonna lie, because apparently this is what these guys are doing and it's working for them. I mean, we have a lot of search and a lot of uh, a lot of supporters in this deck, so we should be okay. Uh, well, it's not great, but at least it's okay. We get Tate and Liza. We can top deck ourselves a s treasure. We can go ahead and get rid of a Guzma, attach an energy to the bayonet, to the Shuppet, and then Tate. This man is going in, bro. That March Shadow is so cool for this deck. Because you, you play so many supporters, right? So you should be able to draw out of the situation. But whenever I do that, I'm always stuck. So I'm not as comfortable as my opponent is doing that play. We don't actually play that many items in this deck, which is cool because uh, we don't have to worry about Garbodor. Now right, we'll take it and see what we can get. We got Shuppa, but we didn't get an energy. I guess we'll just play this down and hopefully we can do something with this. Sure. Alright, we'll pass. And Cynthia could be cool. I'm trying to think of, there's no way for me to really take a knockout here. He's going to damage me first, but if I get like some crazy beast energy, Diancy shenanigans, that could be dope. Uh, I believe we're weak to dark as a Shuppet. Yeah, we are, so that's not a big deal. I oh, was going for the swing around. But I play Bayonet, bro, so like, that's probably not your best play. You should probably try to diversify those energies, my dude. Diverse for that portfolio, those energies. He's got Macargo, so now we're kind of like, just hoping we can throttle him with the right cards. <laughs> because Macargo is a huge threat. Oh, but he doesn't have a Rangroove. So it's less of a threat, but still a big threat. Because now he can get whatever he needs, which is gonna be a lot of good stuff like blowers that can get rid of my choice bands. But we don't have too many items in this deck. I mean, we do, but we can just choose not to play them. Although some of them we're gonna have to play, so. But we're not weak to Psychic with our Bayonet. So Bayonet is just gonna attack, click attack a couple of times and win the game, hopefully. If I can get multiple Shuppets down and uh, Acerolas, we'll be able to cycle between cards as well, which is really strong. I'm assuming he's trying to sledgehammer into a uh, swing around. Uh, okay, we got this. So it looks like we're doing exactly what I mentioned earlier. Uh, I think we're going to get down another shove it because I don't see myself switching this turn. So we'll just get down multiple shove it's what we can. And we'll just Cynthia here. It's another, it's two more supporters in the discard pile so far. And we got the beast. Don't think that's good right now though. Because we only hit him for 60. Which is like not super great. We have three down there already. We can Lele get a fourth one. And then into a Shuppet, I think. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna let him knock me out. If he, if he decides to put three energies on this Buzzwall, that's like three less energies in his deck. So I'm down. We need one more supporter in the discard pile, then we take knockouts with Bayonets. So. That's kind of what I'm going for.
We are losing more items though. Probably should have attached this one, not the one with the choice band. Hmm. Yeah, with four supporters in the discard pile, then we do take a knockout on everything except for this. I'm 20 short from knocking this out because I believe it's 70. Uh, but if we can spread damage onto it, we should be okay. It's trying to punishment. Spreading is not too bad at all. His beast energy is going to be useful if he takes another non-GX knockout. I mean, the beast energy is not like bad in general. It's hitting for 80 can knock out um, this thing. Or we can put things in range of 80. Like we can put this in range of 80 and other Pokemon in range of 80. Just double swing around. Double tails doesn't change anything. All right, cool. So now we're set. We take a knockout here. We Lele, get ourselves a draw supporter. Uh, throw away this baby Lele. Uh, Kukui is good. I could just Kukui instead. Is that good? I don't think that's good. Let's get ourselves Cynthia here. I can judge. He has a big hand. I kind of like judge more just because we're just hitting attack button now. Yeah, I like, I like that a little bit more because like I, like we're literally just hitting attack right now for a couple turns. So we toss these boys or girls or dudes or dudettes, whatever you want to call them. We have two bayonets prized. Hmm, that's unfortunate. All right, so we got to get more. Actually, we got to find our ace rollers. That's what we need to do. But as long as I'm not mathing incorrectly, we should have four down there, which is enough. So after the stretch, of course, we have more uh, beast energy, not super useful. Shadowy Chant, boom. You can pull up Garb and hit me for like 60. One, two, three, nope. No, yeah, 60. We have Buzz, we can attach our uh, thing onto it, depending on how, to many if we get like an Ace Roller or not. Without Ace Roller in the deck, we need to find Stretcher. <laughs> Without another Bayonet, I mean, because we didn't get Bayonet off the prizes. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. This is in range, of course, so. I mean, this is just like, I don't know, let's talk about something, guys. I don't know. You can hit me for 90. That's a lot of damage. I guess 90 combined with uh, Big Boy. Buzzle in the back could be a problem. I might just judge again, because <laughs> I'm assuming he's trying to get an energy in his hand. So probably just going to judge again. Because that way, if he whiffs the energy, that's really good for me. Uh, let's talk about stuff. What's new with you guys? Get a haircut recently? I don't know, man. It's like, this is one of those games where I don't even want to commentate because it's just so autopilot. What's he doing? Is he getting a Rangaroo? Because a Rangaroo is a problem. But I don't want to judge if he gets a Rangaroo. I want to get another Bayonet or a Stretcher, which means I'm going to have to Cynthia. He's hopefully he's a Rangaroo's prized. Ugh. That'd be cool. <laughs> nope. All right. Yeah, he's got it. All right. So that's unfortunate because uh, that means I have to try to do enough damage to knock this thing out, but I'm not going to be able to. I might have to just try to find Guzma as well uh, so that I can knock out one of these dudes on the bench with my buzzwell. So it's not like the worst thing ever. The problem is that I have this Lele down, right? And this Lele is annoying because it's going to, it's, it's like in range of things, but I mean, my, why is my opponent playing slow? Just draw off. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was about to say, just do something. He's like really thinking about what he wants to grab. I don't know what he wants to grab here. You can, if you have a switch, you can grab a switch, but you can't really grab switch. Did he play a draw support this turn? I guess you could grab Guzma, but Guzma doesn't do anything. He just He just wants to attack this Bayonet. That's what he wants to do. I was also considering playing Max Potion in this deck list, but uh, space. Space, space, space. Because Max Potion is cool because you're a one energy attacker, so you can move the damage counters off of you, just completely heal yourself up, put yourself out of range, and you can heal up other things like Lele and stuff like that. So like, it's actually not, it's actually pretty dope. What did he get? What did he really need that he just got? Does he have like a blower? Is he trying to put more damage on the board? Yeah, it is blower. Interesting. Uh, that's only four items though. So he hits me for 80, 110. Um, it's not enough. 120, 130. Yeah, you're not. It doesn't change anything because no matter what, you're knocking me out with Buzzle next turn. But the benefit is that unless he can play down a card next turn, he shouldn't be able to like set this up unless he did draw an energy or something. Uh, Kakui is pretty cool. It's actually really good for Buzzle. But we're not playing it right now. So, uh, 
I can judge and hopefully he has too many cards in his hand to play down uh, to, to get the energy. I kind of like that play. I don't like being super stuck, but I feel like that play is pretty decent. Because if he has too many cards to draw off of Rangru, that's really good for me. We have Ace Roller for next turn. Uh, what we don't have is a Bayonet. <laughs> uh, so I think we move the damage counter. Let me think about this. He hits me for 50 right now. So if I move one damage counter, I'm still going to be in range because I'll be at 130 the next turn. He hits me 50. Yeah. So no, I'm just going to move a damage counter off my Lele and put it onto. Okay. So I can hit this thing for um, 60 with this card, right? 60 doesn't knock anything out. Uh, with Diancy, I can knock that out already. I think I do. How many tools do I have down here? One, two, three, four, five. I have five, so I'm here for 80. Um, I'm trying to think if it's worth this because I'm hitting for 60, which would come 80, which is not enough. So I'm actually gonna put on a Rangu, I think. We'll just shadowy chance for knockouts. And hopefully we can get Buzzwell. I mean, Bayonet, we have two Bayonets, Bryce. Come on, two and five, that's a really good chance. Yeah, <laughs> that's really good. So now we don't have to rely on a uh, Buzzwell right now, which is good. And we can still ace roll a spam. I'm actually gonna ace roll up my Lele just so I can ace just so I can play that Lele to ace roll again later. So he has boosted damage here, and then I take knockout. So I'm hoping he has too many cards in his hand that he won't be able to use his McCargo. That's the goal. Because I'm trying to I'm trying to stop him from getting energy this turn. Because if I can stop him from having a uh, such hammer turn, like a boosted such hammer turn, that'd be dope. But we can't. Never mind. All right, cool. Well, he's got stuff he can do. But we take knockouts, so that's pretty useful. He's ahead on prizes, but once again, we just quick attack a couple more times. Now that we have this Bayonet in hand, uh, and I don't think he'll be playing Judge this turn, so we... Uh, I'm really far from the mic. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> just stretching. Uh, we can just drop Rainbow, move the damage counter, Ace Arola, pick myself up, uh, pick my Lele up so I can grab another Ace Arola in the future. I believe we have... We should have all three Ace Arolas in the deck, and we can just Ace Arola spam these, uh, these Bayonets until we win and while we just attack. Because we should have enough tools in the discard pile soon and just take consistent knockouts. What is he doing? Is he playing Guzma or does he have a switch in hand? What's he trying or what's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. What's he doing? I don't know what he's doing. I don't like what he's doing. Whatever he's doing, I don't like it. He's going for the Lele? He's going for the Lele because that has less damage counters. This is better for me because that means I get to cycle my I can actually cycle my uh bayonets a lot easier now, which is great. I can actually use two bayonets this turn, uh, but unfortunately there's no damage on the board that I can move outside of my own damage. So never mind. Uh but yeah, we can do this. So we move one damage counter. Actually, this is good because we can put a rainbow energy down and we can put it on here. I need to put stuff on Diancy. Oh, I did it again. I I don't, mm, I hate that I do that, man. It's so stupid. Uh, it's Acerola. It's unfortunate, but we can always just treasure for Lele later. So it's not even like a huge deal. All right, we rainbow. I keep doing this, man. I'm such an idiot. All right, shady move. We'll click myself first, and then we put it onto Diancy, because Diancy is a big boy threat. How many tools do we have? Supporters: one, two, three, four, five, six. This thing is the only big threat. Uh, I guess also that is, but I'd rather knock out Diancy sooner. Oh, let me put on the shove it. In case he knocks out a shove it, that could be annoying. Shadowy chant for knockout. All right, let's just attack, hit attack a couple more times and attack an Ace Roller just a couple more times, and we should win. We have Nest Ball, completely useless right now, unless I want to get Diancy later. I also have to make sure not to play too many items, because uh, Garbodor is scary. One, two, three. Uh, I keep saying tools instead of supporters. I, I'm just so used to playing Rotom, apparently. <laughs> only have three tools. Uh, tool, uh, three tools. I meant items. Three items. That's what I meant to say this time. We only have three items on there, so we'll be okay. This is going to hit me for a lot, but I can Ace Roller, so that's pretty dope. And with another Lele down, I'll be able to cycle my Bayonets more. If I lose, if I'm going to discard something, what am I going to discard? How many Leles do I have left? Uh, we should have another one in the deck, hopefully. I wonder if he's going to make Guzan plays and just try to knock out Shepard's the rest of the game. I can see that happening. 
that's probably what I would do, to be honest. I would probably just give up on this bayonet thing, <laughs> to be honest. There's no way he can take a knockout, right? There's no way. He can't hit enough damage to take a knockout. He can hit 30, 60, 90, 110. Uh, 130, I think. So it's not going to be enough. Uh, and with resistance, oh yeah, I forgot about that. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. All right, um, let's just go ahead and toss away this thing right here. Give myself a Lele, which should give me some Acerolas. We only have one left, so we have to get one off the prizes, ideally. Um, let's move this damage counter. Shady move off myself into Orenguru. Let me just drop Le Lele. And yes, give myself an Acerola. Pick this up. All right, there we go. Autopilot mode. Yeah, there's just, yeah, he can't do anything. All right, cool. Let's get another game. Hopefully we don't play against Buzzgarb again. I would like to play against something else. Give me like, give me, give me like, give me Rayquaza. Rayquaza seems like a hard matchup. Let me play against Rayquaza. I haven't played this deck against Rayquaza yet. Give me that. Uh, nope, just again, another Buzzgarb. <laughs> this one's playing metal actually. So I don't know what, I don't know what this deck is. Ooh, look at this hand. It's actually really good. <laughs> we can toss this and get Lele for Lily. We can play down special energy. The only thing we we'll have left in our hand is potentially a fighting energy, but we could also discard that. We can like, if we can draw another supported discard, that could be cool too. Ooh, some things I resist. So this could be Nagan Adele, which I'm down. I'll play Nagan Adele. Uh, yeah, it's looking like it's Naga. I'll take Naga. Uh, Naga is not like easy, this for sure. Dude, I love to recon squad. I think it's so good in this kind of deck. Stack attack, uh, stack attackers. Unfortunately, we don't have shrine, so uh, we're gonna be taking, doing a lot less damage. <laughs> but we still get two Akeos when my opponent is gonna have a hard time taking Okos on us. We don't have. Oh, we do have Ultra Beast. We got big old, big old Buzzwool, big boy Buzzwool. So we can grab that just to thin the deck, I guess. Four stackers. This man just straight up came up with the stacking, bro. He's just stacking. He's stacking on attacking. He's stacking and he's planning on attacking. Um, let's go ahead and drop fighting first. I'm just gonna play these both down. Get another shop down. We have Baina in hand. And drop this. Probably not the safest play to make in the whole world, but I'm down to clown with it. We'll grab ourselves a Lele, which can get us Lily. Do you have Lily in the deck, right? Yeah, we do. Cool. All right. We'll do this. Get ourselves an Ultra Recon. Get ourselves a big old, big, big old, big boy Buzzwall. Throw it down. And Lele here for a couple of friends. Get our girl Lily. I'm going to attach because there's literally no way you can knock and take a knockout next turn, right? I'm just going to attach the active. I don't see him ever taking a knockout next turn. Like ever. So I'm safe to do this, I think. All right, we're set. We can Ultra Ball more supporters away if we need to. We can Cynthia throw away his roll and judge. Nest Ball can get us Diancy later if we need it. I don't really need it though, so can we just pass here? Maybe I should Ultra Ball now, but in case he judges me or something, I want to be able to draw into my supporters. So he's going for Stacker. I wonder if he's playing like a Max Potion build. This deck would be so much better if we had like elixir or something. It was like a max elixir for for uh for uh, ultra beast. <laughs> Make ultra beast truly broken. Let's do it. He's got buzzwell of his own. Buzzwell can easily take a knockout on. Uh, I think he's trying to like. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this. So we're probably gonna ace roll this at some point. But we can move damage counters off of it, which is kind of nice. Uh, just start attaching energies where I can. Seems pretty cool. All right. Um. Hmm. There's no way I'm ever going to take a knockout on this thing from full. But I need to decide if... I think I'm going to ace roll this now. Am I going to ace roll this now? No, I'm not going to ace roll this now. I'll ace roll it later. I don't really want to do anything else, though. Choice man's fun. I guess we'll throw it down. Um, I can put another beast in my hand. I don't think I'm ever going to use these things, so they're good discard fodder. I'll toss a judge. Oh, I really shouldn't toss a judge, but whatever. More tools. Um... Let's grab another bayonet. 
We might need it later. And I can move a damage counter off of my Lele. Just avoid the two hit KO. So shady move from Lele. All right, how many tools do we have down here right now? We got three supporters, which means we're hitting for 60, which becomes 50, I believe, which becomes 20. God, this is gonna take, this is gonna be forever. This is gonna take forever to knock out. Um, then we just gonna start throwing them onto stack attack. I'm gonna eventually try to knock out that stack attack, I think. Uh, I'm gonna play Cynthia, I think. Now that we got these bayonets and stuff, I can switch between bayonets. I don't really like doing that, so I'm just gonna Cynthia. It's another. I just want to put. I want to put. A, I want to put all my spores in this compound now. To be honest, I just want to start throwing them all down. Put them all on the ground. I'm sick of this. I'm already. I'm already done. I'm already mentally. I'm. Already, I'm checked out. I'm tired of this. I'm. I'm sick of this all the garbage. I just want. I just want to attack. 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 Uh, we have one, two, three, four down there right now. Which means we are hit for seventy, which becomes fifty, which becomes. 10. <laughs> we're gonna hit this boy for big boy 10. I think we're gonna hit this man for big boy 10. Yeah, we'll do it. Um, shadowy chance. Yep, there it is. Now, at least we hit for damage. That's what matters. How are we gonna win this? <laughs> How are we gonna win this? We need Alolan Muck. <gasps> Bro, Alolan Muck would be so cool in this deck, actually. We take out the Lele's because, like, and we just like max out our supporter counts, like ace rolls and stuff, so we can find them easier. And then we just play Lolan Muck. Dude, that sounds super lit. That sounds like super mega lit. But if we play Lolan Muck, then uh, we can't do our Buzzle Strat to knock out Zoark, which means it's actually not lit. Never mind, I take it back. I take it back. It is not super lit. He does have a beast energy, right? So this thing is a, like instant right now. So now we can hit me for 160. Which is like a lot of damage, so. Hmm. I think he hit the active for like a crap ton. Uh, I guess Ray's rolling this turn. That's not great. Um, we have this. So we hit it for 60 minus 40. Maybe we get Diancy now? Maybe we get Diancy now and we just start attacking with this thing for a little bit. Sure. At least it does damage. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That was horrible. Why did I do that? <laughs> now I'm going to get knocked out. Actually, I don't get knocked out by Shady moving, which is cool, but it's still like not great for myself. Onto this, I, f I should have played on Lele. That was a horrible misplay on my part. We retreat into this. Make such hammer. Yeah, make such hammer. Boom. We at least hit for damage. We're hitting for forty at a time. That's not awful. At least. This thing hits for a hundred damage now, bro. That's a lot of damage. Relax, relax, relax. 160 damage on my GX Pokemon. That's crazy. He's not playing any Nagas, which is smart. Uh, this man just drawing his entire deck. What if I judge, bro? At least he's not playing Guzma. <laughs> At least he ain't playing Guzma. I'll take that. I'm trying to think of how I'm gonna win this game. I'm not really seeing it. Excuse me. Mm, excuse me. I literally do not see how I win this game. Uh, I don't know if he plays any spread attacks. I don't think this deck plays any spread attacks. I don't even know what spread attacks he could play. Uh, that's an, oh, it is a knockout. Oh, that's problematic. Um, at least I can play Ace Rolla now. So there's that benefit. That's not too bad. Unfortunately, we don't get to play Kikui. I would love to play Kikui. At least do some damage, right? Just gotta be Sorolla. And then you just keep moving damage to the back over there. Shady move. But then again, this thing is such a huge threat now. So moving damage to it. This thing is actually such a monstrous threat now because it has three energies, it has beast energy. God, it's got so much going for it. Um. Yeah, we'll pick these up. Well, there's no point in getting Buzzwall because we don't have Beast Energy anymore. I'll grab it from the deck just to get out of the deck so we can draw them more. Uh, play you down. Energy down. Bayonet. Choice band down. 
QE next turn for even more damage. Shady move this onto here. I believe we hit it for 30 right now, which means we take a knockout on the next turn. Oh, 20. Never mind. <laughs> we take a knockout on the next turn with Kikui. Then we hit 40, which is just enough. Actually, now we hit 50 on Kikui. Ooh, maybe I should. Okay, I should have made moved that damage there. I miscounted again. But dude, every turn of the Recon Squad, bro. Relax. How many Pokemon does he play? That's playing Unlimited Ultra Beast. <laughs> Unlimited Ultra Beast. Ultra Beast feels like a Yu Gi Oh deck, bro. Because you have so many like cards that like support Ultra Beast cards. So it's really weird. I'm going to take one prize and he's already taken two. So this is like not great. <laughs> he's just going to pull up another one, man. How annoying. At least whenever I get a bunch of... Okay, so between Kikui's and just having a bunch of things, I'll be able to at least do a KO, right? So I just need to get more... I just need to get as many supporters as I can down there as quickly as I can. So that's going to be the game plan. I just need to get as many as I can. Now, Kikui's going to be really useful. It can help me do a little bit more damage past the stack attack to boost. Uh... So Rusty Claw onto this. Just move my damage, of course. He has so much damage. Look at that. 160 damage, man. That's ridiculous. That should be illegal. That should just be illegal. I can only move two damage counters off of it this turn. Which is going to put me at 140, which is still in range of this. So that's like mega not great. Shady move. Uh, I'm going to be knocked out anyways, so I guess we'll just start moving them off of Lele. Yeah. Oh, this is super not good. Hmm. Do I toss his judge? I kind of want to play the judge next turn. Well, it's a knockout here. Sure. This is so awkward. Like, I'm just, I'm just like dumbfounded right now about how awkward this is. Stack attack, man. Stack attack is doing its job. Well, at least there's no more beast energy shenanigans. But he's gonna take three prizes to my one prize I've taken. Oh, wait a minute. That's not even a knockout. Oh, we're set this turn. Oh, thank God. All right, cool. He can't dusk shot me. Uh, he's playing both fighting and metal. That's interesting. Uh, and with that big, big old hand of yours, bro, you don't have a metal energy. <laughs> hey, we take those. I guess he's trying to get beast energy active. Um, or beast ring, I mean. I'm judging him. But I'm not going to be able to take a knockout, though. So I'm going to actually hold on to this judge until the turn before I activate his beast ring. I think that's the right play. Uh, I'm actually going to switch out of this thing just so I can put myself out of range. So we're going to shady. Okay, how much am I hitting him for? One, two, three, four, five, six six which is one which is 90 which minus one two three four which is minus 30 so i'm, I'm coming close to taking a knockout on this thing uh we'll shady move from here onto this if i do it again i'm still not in range of getting him out of range okay uh yeah probably should have done it last turn i did not expect he would whiff i'm not i'm not gonna lie to you guys like you think that my opponent will whiff a metal energy with a hand this big? That's not what. I, that's not on my agenda of things that happen. Uh, I could switch and hopefully he does. He just doesn't get another one, because he, he's already played two on his bench, one on his, one on the one in the discard pile, two on his bench. So you think he'd had enough? He'd have another one. Maybe he just misclicked. So I'm thinking about retreating here and attacking with a fresh one. Putting even more damage counters on the board. I kind of like that, so I'm gonna do that. I just want to get this thing out of range, so I'm gonna try that. Shady move from this one onto this one. I'm gonna attempt it. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out, whatever. But if it works out, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna play this judge yet. We only have two judges in the deck. This is the last one. I'm gonna wait till I can activate his B strings, then I'll judge him. Because uh, if I can stall a couple of turns, he already played all four of his thing. For no reason, by the way. He played all four of his Ultra Recon squads. He had no reason to play that. Look at his hand. You know, if you, you have a reason to play these draw cards if you draw cards that are that you can play. And he has not drawn any cards he could play right now. So if I can get a knockout on him this next turn, then uh, we're in a really good position. I have to hit him for 70. In order to hit for in order for me to hit him for 70. I have to be able to 
do oh god seven i'm doing minus 60. so 70 plus 60 is 130. i'd have to do max damage he's gonna he's gonna heal instead oh to attack with this well here we go uh does this work on himself i believe it does okay well this thing is now a threat <laughs> this thing has actively become a threat in my face so that's not great but choice band works on him so maybe i can take a knockout he's hitting me for 150 that's so much damage all right um looks like we're only healing one at a time now so we attach we don't have any smell actually we can get down another bayonet uh, it just sucks that so many dusk shot targets well, i'm actually going to toss this because I want to hold on to everything else in my hand. Let me get another bayonet here. We don't have a switch in hand. I really don't want to play down this judge yet. I'm trying to avoid it. Uh, I'm just trying to deny knockouts as long as I can. Uh, we'll shady move from one at a time. So we'll shady move from this one and put it onto here. Okay, so with a choice band, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is so stupid. I'm being so stupid. Uh, one two three four five six so i'm hitting him for 90 120 the choice band attached that is 150 minus 60 is 90 again so i two a ko which means i have to so stupid. I, the thing is right this one doesn't have a choice band so i just already messed up uh i wish i could diamond rain if I, found, if I found his metal energies, I would totally diamond rain. All right, we're just going to attack him with this one without the choice band. Maybe we'll find an ace roller or something. Do we have any more of these boys? How many choice bands do we got left? We have no more choice. Oh, we have one more choice band left. Well, I mean, it's not going to help anymore. Um, shady move. We're just going to try to heal this one up. Put onto this. And the next turn, maybe. I can always tomb hunt, but tomb hunt doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for me. I'm just gonna shadow chance. Like two might gets me Ace Rollers, but I mean this is not the turn to be playing Ace Rollers. I hit him for 60 with a choice band. Uh, so 60 plus 20 more damage. That's 80. 80 is not enough. Oh my god, the blowers. That really sucks. Uh, Alright. Hmm, what do I do? I would love to draw another supporter. Come on, game. I have so many in the deck. This is not the one I wanted. Uh, I don't know, man. Shady move. Put this one onto here. My Guzma doesn't solve anything. I want to take this knockout and then I want to Guzma, right? That will make life easier for me. Because then this happens and now I'm still in range. So I think I just have to sack off one of these dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm hitting for 30. 30 into something next turn is pretty decent. I'm just going to do it. Whatever. We'll sack you off. It's not ideal, but um, we can maybe take a knockout next turn. I wish we just had more energies to attach. All right, let's think about this. This is such a messy game. I apologize, guys, for like such a messy game. If, I'm, if he gets if he gets B strings off of Judge, I'm gonna be mad. Just know this. All right, we're tossing away these Guzmas. I think that'll be enough. Thirty uh, plus thirty is another sixty. That should be enough. Yeah. All right, cool. Go ahead and shady move from myself to this this probably i don't know what, what am i getting off this do i have another shop down there i think i do uh yes shop it. this is where shrine of memories would be useful <laughs> like 10 damage every turn and then we just lay lay it up and we just go ahead and go judge here and that should be knockout i really hope my math is not incorrect did we attach return we did attach return we have ace roll if he does somehow whiff he already played down literally all of his ultra recon squads so this should be knockout there it is. Okay, it's two prizes. So uh, and that's right there. That's minus. That's a, a minus 10 removed off the field. So that's pretty good. 
this thing comes in and just hits me for a lot. That's not great. Does he have the B string? Did he draw the B string? He does take a knockout here, which is annoying. He gets stack attack back on the board. Is that his goal? God, what, a, what an annoying deck to play against. I mean, this is like an auto loss, right? So there's nothing I can really do. This is a horrible video. I'm probably not even going to upload this. <laughs> this video in its own right has just been bad. Has just been bad. It's been a bad video. We uploaded, we got two Buzzgarb games. I mean, we were going, we're showing off the list, which is cool in its own right. Did he whip these rings? That'd be pretty dope. Yes, Cartana gets rid of my rainbow energy, which doesn't really matter. Actually, it does matter because that means, that means, uh, he's out of range. I mean, I can't attack him. I mean, well, he takes two more prizes here. He whiffed B-string. I need to somehow take a knockout this turn, which is not looking very likely. We don't have any more judge, so if he if he gets B-string while I whiff knockout, that's not great. All right, let me think about this. Can I take a knockout? One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10, that's 130. With one damage move, it's not gonna be even close to enough. All right, let's... Uh, shady move first. From, uh, from Lele onto this. All right, so now he's at 120. I'm hitting him for minus 60. I'm hitting him for 130, 150 with Kikui. Um, 150 with Kikui, minus 60 is 90. It's not gonna be enough, man. Maybe I just roll instead. Nice roll. If I'm not hitting him for enough now, I might as well just, you know, give up on trying to hit him for enough this turn. And we just try to heal up with my Lele as much as I can. So we're going to Shady move. You know what else I could do? Is just because we have so many things in the discard pile, I just pick up my Ace Rollas again. It's two Ace Rollas. It wouldn't be like too bad. We'll Shady move here. Because I think if we pick up Ace Roll and maybe another Bayonet, that leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not enough. I kind of really want to do it though. Eight is. I'm gonna just attack. I don't know, man. I don't have enough time to think. Like, I need to, I need to like, practice this matchup if I'm ever going to win it on, like, a timer. This is impossible to win off timer. Is Guzma here? Does he win the game with Guzma? Does he have B-string? If he has B-string, he wins the game off. Oh, he just wins the game in general, doesn't he? Uh, wait a minute, no, he doesn't. Oh he, oh, he blades. That's right, never mind. I forgot about blade. Well, yeah, well, that was a horrible, horrible game. What was I going to do that game? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm stretching, though. This video's been going on for an hour. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, at least my recording's been going on for an hour. I'm just going to end the video there. I don't know, man. <laughs> these videos have been ridiculous lately. They've been ridiculous. And I, I got to get these uploads ready for you guys. So I couldn't get perfect games for you. But we got, like, one... Like, just hard counter. The hard counter. There's nothing I can do against that deck. I have options for Zoark. I have options for everything that's, like, below... 130 HP, I guess. Actually, below 170 in general. I have options for it. Actually, technically, I have options for everything below 190 HP. Um, except for things that give me minus 60 damage. Minus 60. You didn't have a single one prized. Minus 60 on thing I can't boost it attack with choice ban. There was... I don't think there was anything I could have done. I'm sure there was something I could have done, but I didn't see it. <laughs> so, I'm not going to bother whatever these are videos for fun anyways i do like bayonet though bayonet is one of my favorite pokemon to play so let me know what you guys think of the deck list down below uh don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already subscribe share all the good jazz and i'll see you guys next time peace